Hi, I'm Doug Schulte here at the Geminis factory in El Goybar, Spain. Uh, to give you a factory tour as well as take a look at our uh, new GT5i G4 CNC turning center. I'm standing here in front of our Geminis GT5i. The new GT5i was introduced at EMO in 2019 and uh, this design that we have ordered is a four bed guideway design. So you can see the tailstock mounted on the back side of the ways and the carriage is mounted on the front. This machine's also equipped with the quick change carriage, which will show, we'll show the various uh, accessories that we have with our machine that will allow you to quickly change from this four position turret to a boring bar device to a 12 station turret with live tooling and Y axis. We'll also show a milling column that can be added to this, this four station turret to give you a 50 taper milling capability, 30 horsepower, 50 taper, uh, with Y-axis integrated into that milling column as well. The standard spindle on, on our machine is uh, with a standard bore of 130 millimeters. It's a 37 kilowatt spindle motor. Uh, it's driven by our new twin drive system. We do have a full C-axis that's capable of plus or minus two degrees, uh, two arc seconds. Uh, our tailstock is our NC programmable tailstock with NC quill fully programmable base movement and automatic clamping and unclamping from the bed. You can see from an ergonomic standpoint, the chip conveyor is under the, under the grate here. Uh, so all the chips that are generated in the cutting process fall towards the front and go on this chip conveyor and are carried out to the right hand side of the machine. That gives the operator excellent access to the tooling, to the work holding, or even the part that's in the machine. So changing tools, checking tools, the operator has very good access to that. Checking the part, checking the spindle, uh, the operator has very good access to that. This machine has a 55 inch swing over the bed and 43 inch swing over the carriage. So you can turn a part 43 inches long, the full length of the machine. This machine has four meters, 160 inches between centers. Our machine's equipped with the, the Fanuc 31i CNC control with the Geminis uh, developed friendly HMI. So all the aspects of the machine will be clearly shown on the HMI as well as the program, the uh, tools, the spindle loads, the RPMs, everything will be uh, completely shown on the HMI in a very operator friendly format. You'll also be able to access maintenance, maintenance records, user manuals, and many other functions in the CNC control using the HMI. Also has standard, a handheld pulse generator that's a multi-function handheld control, which gives you multiple functionalities as well as moving the machine around as you would expect. Dual USB ports are included for uploading and downloading programs manuals, drawings, anything you'd like into the HMI. Geminis has also developed areas to, so the, uh, maintenance personnel can easily access critical areas of the machine. This panel can re be removed for easy access to the, to the spindle and to the drive system. This panel also covers all the things that the operator needs to review on a, on a daily basis. Way oil, tank, uh, other solenoids and air filters that need to be checked, hydraulic units that need to be checked. This device up here is our tool touch setter. That, this is where it's stored when it's not being used and when we, we want it used we'll move it into the machine and we'll show that in a little bit. This is our twin drive headstock. So I mentioned earlier that it was a 37 kilowatt uh, drive so what we have are uh, which is a 50 horsepower spindle. That's a continuous rating, not a duty rating. So 50 horsepower means we have two 25 horsepower motors that are connected to two two-speed gearboxes, which then drive the, the gear-driven spindle inside the headstock. So it's a true gear drive from the motor directly to the headstock. So I mentioned earlier we have an NC tailstock. So the body of the tailstock can be moved under full CNC control. The NC servo quill is, is advanced using a servo motor and it has a 
monitor of the thrust that's applied to the center against the part, the machine will maintain that proper thrust. Even if the part grows and heats up during machining, uh, it, will, it will compensate and relax the tailstock to maintain the proper thrust on the, on the servo motor. So this handheld pulse generator gives the ability to, to not only move the quill in and out by NC servo control, but it also allows you to move the base. The base has automatic hydraulic clamp and unclamp. So as soon as it unclamps, it will move the tailstock. As soon as you let go of the buttons, it'll, it'll clamp itself back automatically. It is a mechanical clamp with a hydraulic release. So if power were to fail, the tailstock base won't go anywhere. As you can see, the inside walls of the machine are all stainless steel. The back wall of the machine will open up in various panels to allow an operator access from the backside. We also have sheet metal uh, inserts in the, in the casting that are stainless steel to allow for better chip flow. Certain materials uh, flow better on the stainless panels than they do on the painted surface. You can also see inside the enclosure we have LED lights, three panels of LED lights that completely light up the inside of the machine enclosure. I mentioned the, the rear panels of the machine can be easily opened. So at, with this rear panel open, the operator has good access to the back side of the tailstock. Uh, you can, this is the motor drive system in the rack that's mounted on the bottom of the bed uh, that moves the tailstock back and forth under NC control. If you have our steady rest on the machine, we've included a steady rest with this, this machine, and if you have the steady rest on the machine, it can also be moved using that rack so the operator's not having to manhandle it. He can easily ro rotate the wrench and it moves the steady rest along the base of the machine. Just like on the other end of the machine, You can up this, open up this panel and have full access to this side of the spindle. The coolant system on our machine is, is capable of up to 11 bar, which is right around 120 PSI coolant. And it's programmable in various pressures. So with by M code, you can change the pressure. Uh, so if you don't need a full 11 bar, you could maybe run it at five bar, which is 80 PSI uh, and, and go on up. Uh, to the full 11 bar if you needed that. So one of the features on our GT5i G4 machine is the Marpos tool touch probe. So with this probe, when you need it, you can plug it in. And uh, when you're not using it, it stays safe in the cabinet in the back. But this allows you to touch off tools in any plane that you need to touch off tools. And it will automatically update the tool register. It can, be, it can be used to measure tools in the, the Barifaldi 12 station turret, the four station turret, which we showed you earlier, or the uh, boring bar device. So on the Geminis lathe, all Geminis lathes, uh, the carriage is driven by a ball screw that's centrally mounted in, in the carriage. So you're, you're pushing always in the center of the, the mass of, on top of the carriage. In our Z axis, is driven by two servo motors that also are geared and driving a double rack and pinion system. So you have a, a, the rack that's mounted along the front of the bed and you have uh, two motors geared down and pinion drive uh, that are countered against each other to eliminate backlash. Under this cover here is a Z-axis scale. So we have a glass scale for uh, positioning accuracy of the z-axis and this rail down at the bottom this is an additional support rail that uh, so the carriage not only rides on the two boxways on the top but also that third rail at the bottom so it helps to support the weight that's when the turrets all the way back helps to support the load and the weight uh, of that of the that carriage Another feature about the carriage is you'll notice that there's no wires running for the Z-axis. All of the wiring for all the components that are mounted to this are in this channel that go up to the back of the machine and then it's in an easily accessed channel in the back of the machine. There's a cable carrier in the back 
that supports the cables as they're running the full length of the back of the machine. But they're out of the cutting zone, they're out of the chip chip area so the, and it, the operator doesn't have to reach over them or step over them. These are some of the accessories that we have for our stock GT5i. This is a 30 horsepower 50 taper milling column that also incorporates Y-axis. This milling column attaches directly to the 32 size turret that's already in the machine. This is an open C-type steady rest. It, it completely closes the part in so the part can't slip out, uh, but you have uh, the capacity here from 50 millimeter diameter up to 400 millimeter diameter. One thing you'll notice is there's a linkage on this side of the, of the arm. The bottom quill is moved by this bolt, the top quill is moved by this bolt, both which are easy to reach from the operator in front of the machine. The rear quill is normally adjusted back here, but since the operator is going to be in front of the machine, this linkage gives them the ability to adjust that rear quill from, from the front of the machine, so he doesn't have to go around to the back of the machine to do that. Another feature of the C-Type Steady Rest is that it mounts on the rear guideways like the tailstock, which allows the carriage to pass in front, which allows the, uh, uh, the operation to be able to turn through the, the part. So you can be supporting a part in the Steady Rest and turn the part uh, right through the Steady Rest. Next we have some of the accessories for our quick change system. So you'll see the empty base here. These bases can be set anywhere that's convenient for you inside your shop. If it's in front of the machine, next to the operator platform, or maybe it's back against the wall. But uh, this empty one is for the four position turret, so when we remove that, it will sit there. This is a 12 station turret, live tooling, BMT 75, with plus or minus five inches of of y-axis travel. The drive motor in here is a 10 kilowatt drive motor and capable of up to 5,000 RPM milling speeds. This device over here is our boring bar attachment. It will support a boring bar 31 and a half inches inside this housing. So that means we could hold it out front about oh, I don't know, maybe 90 inches. You could have a 90 inch boring bar sticking out the front. Eight inch diameter. With this sleeve, it brings it down to a four inch diameter. You can also add additional sleeves to get smaller bars or maybe in between the six and the eight inch. So as I mentioned, our, our carriage is equipped with the Geminis quick change system. This system allows different devices that we just reviewed to be removed and replaced quickly uh, so the, a large part doesn't have to be removed. You can remove the, the device and do a different operation. So you have different electrical outlets that are uh, defined by the, uh, the, the different codes for the different accessories and plugs. So each, each accessory has its own electrical plug. If there's a coolant or hydraulic line required, those connections are up here. And again, they'll, they are labeled as well, so you know where to plug them in and uh, how to plug them in. So now we're gonna demonstrate the quick change system, and Mikkel is gonna help me with that. So we're gonna go through the process of the quick change. The first thing to do is to press the e-stop. Then you come over and you disconnect the, the electrical and the hydraulic or coolant connections. And you come back to the control and unclamp using the zero point. Once it's unclamped, we can raise the turret.
Okay, now you can see we've added to the four position turret, we've added a milling unit. So this is a 50 taper, 30 horsepower milling unit it, with Y axis incorporated in the milling unit. Uh, this, this unit will produce nearly uh, 300 foot pounds of torque. This button here is your tool ejection. So when you want to replace the tools in there, you simply unclamp the tool, remove the tool, put the next tool in and clamp it back in place. Right now, the milling unit is facing the main spindle. It can also be rotated 90 degrees and work on the OD of the part. This milling unit is also capable of up to 3000 RPM. Another feature of this milling unit is through spindle coolant is also incorporated for the live tools. So I want to really quickly show the Barifaldi CNC turret. This, this Barifaldi turret is a BMT 75 top plate with driven tool capability. It has an NC servo index capability for very fast indexing tool to tool. The live tool drive motor is a 10 kilowatt motor uh, with a uh, 5,000 RPM maximum speed. This turret also has a Y axis with plus or minus five inches of movement above and below center line. This turret is also equipped with through spindle coolant. So through all, all coolant can travel through the turret and through the tool. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Geminis GT5i four bed guideway, 1400 millimeter swing by four meters between centers. And I hope you've learned a little bit about the machine and saw some of the accessories and the excellent flexibility that this machine can offer. Thank you for taking some time to visit the Geminis factory with us today. If we can help you with your heavy duty flatbed CNC turning requirements, please feel free to call us at Select Machining Technologies.